Hey everybody, this is Mac with Monto, and I want to make a quick video to show you our newest app, Affiliate and Referral Management for Webflow Shops, how to get set up and how it works. So what the app tries to accomplish is to turn your fans into your sales team. So it allows you to identify anybody, a customer, some sort of blogger, influencer, podcaster, anybody, turn them into an affiliate and make it so that when they refer traffic to your website that results in a sale, they get a commission of that sale. So that being said, the way you get started is to click Start Free Trial, connect your Webflow site, go through the prompts. It only takes a couple minutes. And then where your land is here on your dashboard. So if it's your first time seeing Monto, quick primer on what we do is we offer a variety of apps for your Webflow store. So you'll see all of these here. Abandoned Cart Recovery, Reviews, CRM, Subscriptions, Affiliates. This is the app that we're talking about today, Affiliates. So overview, this is where we're going to spend most of our time as a user of the Affiliates app, but I'm actually going to start with Setup just to show you how it's done. So once you start your account, you're going to be shown this page. And Setup is super easy. It takes two seconds. You want to go to your Project Settings, Custom Code, Head Code, and then paste this bad boy right into the code. Um, if you have any questions about how to do this, reach out to us. You can reach us at hello at monto.io. We can help you out. After you've set it up, make sure that you save and deploy your project to your production domain. Then we will visit configure. Okay, so there are three important things to know about this page. This is where you set your default commission rate, your conversion window, and your subdomain. So these are three important things you want to do before you really start using the app. Your default commission rate. This is the amount that every affiliate is going to get on the entire basket, the entire order that they refer to your store. So. For example, if I'm an affiliate for your store and I refer some traffic that results in the sale of $100, if this percentage is six, I'm going to get six bucks. Easy enough. And next up we have conversion window. This is the number of days within which an affiliate can refer traffic to your store and the purchase can ultimately go through for that affiliate to be credited with the sale. For example, if I refer some traffic to your store, and that customer does not purchase anything. They just leave right away. They check out your products, they leave. Then nine days later, they come back and ultimately purchase from you. Me as the affiliate, I will be credited with that sale because it happened within the conversion window. However, if that same customer came back, not nine days, but let's say 11 days after I initially referred them to your store, I would be outside of the conversion window and so me as the affiliate would not be credited with that sale. Okay, subdomain. This is generally just going to be your store.monto.io. And this is essentially the URL that your affiliates will later be able to access in order to log into their own accounts. So usually just pick the name of your store for that to go here. Next up, we have overview. Now, like I said, this is where you're going to spend most of your time in the affiliates app. This is where you can see all of your affiliates, create new affiliates, export data for reports, um, and see all the progress of all the affiliates and how they're doing. So we're going to look at this affiliate here called MacX. Um, oh, before we do that, you can also see all your referred orders and all your referred revenue. Um, once we drill into MacX, we can see that this user has an 11% commission rate. They have sales, three of them. So they've referred three sales to my store. Um, revenue, this is the amount of revenue for those three sales combined, so $6 in total. And balance owed, this is the amount of money I owe to that affiliate. If we click into their detail page, you can see a little more information. So Mac 11, this is actually the tag, we call it. So whenever an affiliate signs up on your platform or you create an account for them, you'll see that this is appended to the end of their link. Question mark via equals and then Mac 11, which is again is my tag. So as long as this question mark via equals and then the tag of the affiliate is accessed on the website, the conversion window begins. And then any purchase that happens in that conversion window is going to be credited to that affiliate and you see those down here below. So here are the recently referred carts. Typically, you might see a cart that says abandoned or pending, and this is because our other app here, Abandoned Cart Recovery, we actually use part of it in this app, 
And so this way, when you look at an affiliate, you can say, hmm, I see that they've referred three orders to us, but I see that they have five or six cards that were abandoned. And it might be an interesting data point because maybe they are bringing people to your site, but maybe it's not the highest quality traffic. So we wanted to make sure to include that metric just so you see a bigger picture of how your affiliates are performing. So that said, I see that I owe this affiliate 33 cents. So I'm going to go ahead and note payout for this affiliate. Okay, so I'm going to say 33 cents. Make sure the payment date is today, May 20th. And I'm going to say pay with paypal.me. Now here, it says a new tab to PayPal will be opened. Please pay your affiliate and come back to confirm and finalize the payment. Now, I'm led to a PayPal page where I can pay this affiliate. This is as long as the affiliate has set up their PayPal page. But here, I can easily just get them paid. And then I go back and I hit confirm. Cool. So now you'll see my balance for this particular affiliate is reduced to zero. And a payment has been noted. Um, one thing I'd like to mention is that if you don't want to pay your affiliates via PayPal, or if your affiliates haven't set up their PayPal account, um, you can actually pay them any way you want. You can pay them with Bitcoin or Venmo or something like that. This is just one option among others. In um, the case that you don't want to pay with PayPal, you just simply click Add, and it would also have the same outcome here. Cool. So on the affiliate side, once you create an affiliate, we're going to ask you a few pieces of information about them, such as their name, their email address, and the tag that they want. So let's say if I were to create a new affiliate, I would say new affiliate at monto.io. I'd say new affiliate. And I would call them affiliate. Now this means that their tag, it's updated here, anything that, any URL that leads to your site, your homepage, product page, any page, as long as it's appended with this um, parameter at the end that includes their tag, it's going to count towards that affiliate. And you might remember from the configure page that I have a 6% commission rate. If you want to give this affiliate a higher or lower commission rate, you can do that by toggling this on and then saying, you know, 20, for example. I want to give this person a really high commission rate. Maybe they're like a massive blogger or something like that. So that's how you kind of create an affiliate and give them a custom commission rate and begin to set up their details for them. Now it's this pending invitation here because what just happened is an email got sent off to that affiliate. They need to open the email, confirm, um, and only at that point are they an actual affiliate. Now back to this affiliate MacX. We're going to go and log in as MacX. Once they're invited to the platform, and they accept the invitation, this is what an affiliate sees. So like you notice, it's very similar to what you as the merchant see, except you can't pay them, for example, if you're the affiliate. You see, just like you do on the other page, the affiliate can see their special link. So if they ever say, hey, like I forget my link, can you give it to me? You can always say, hey, yeah, just go log into your affiliate dashboard and copy it like that. They see the commission rate that you have them at. So if there's ever a misunderstanding around them thinking that they're owed this and you thinking that they're owed that. This is a place where all those disagreements are settled. And then their balance. So a second ago, this would have said a 33 cent balance, but because I paid it on the affiliate side, it says zero and it says that this affiliate's been paid out. Once the affiliate creates their account and sees this page for the first time, they're given a big blue button here that you can't see right now, but it says set up your PayPal account. And that's kind of a trigger for them just to kind of click into PayPal, put in their little PayPal name, and that way you as the merchant, when you make a payout, will always have the ability to pay them with PayPal. Now that was a pretty high level overview of how the product works. But if anybody here has any questions or comments or feedback in particular, we love hearing feedback, please reach out to me, Mac, M-A-C-K, at Monto.io because all that feedback, it really helps us know what to make next and what to improve and what to fix and all that kind of stuff. Um, we're really excited about this app. We think a lot of merchants, if they were just able to kind of harness the power of affiliate programs, 
they could really create an entirely new revenue stream. And we've seen a lot of our users do this actually. And so we're really excited for the impacts that we can have on our users' businesses. Um, we're always here if you have any questions. Thanks everybody.